Time now for a look at the latest business news and we're going to start with news that San Francisco is set to become the first US city to ban the sale of e-cigarettes. To tell us more, our business editor Stephen Carl is here with all the details. Stephen. Eve, the city's lawmakers voted unanimously to ban the sale and manufacture of electronic cigarettes. The mayor now needs to sign that ordinance to bring it into effect. San Francisco is home to the market leader in this industry, a company called Juul. E-cigarettes are a fast-growing business, sales in the United States worth some $3.6 billion in 2018, according to research from Mordor Intelligence. Federal regulators in the US have given manufacturers until 2021 to evaluate the harmful effects of their products, but lawmakers in San Francisco say that's too long. Peter O'Brien reports. Jewel no more. San Francisco has banned the sale and manufacture of e-cigarettes. It's the first major U.S. city to do so, responding to fears that vaping might be harmful. I will introduce a resolution. When the order was first voted on, San Francisco legislators pointed out that the ban would be lifted if the Food and Drug Administration approved such products. Companies like Juul have had three years to submit their product and marketing to the FDA. The question is why haven't they? And the answer is because they want to protect their profits to continue targeting and harming our young people, and they know nicotine is not healthy. Juul, founded in San Francisco two years ago, is now the most popular e-cigarette in the U.S. It accounts for more than two-thirds of the market share, with sales expected to top $3 billion this year. It's the main culprit for the band's supporters, who claim such companies are targeting young people. The number of U.S. school students using e-cigarettes grew by 78 percent last year. The potential health consequences of vaping remain unclear, but include worries it could stunt adolescent development. Critics of the legislation say it will drive people back to regular cigarettes, which are known to cause cancer. A new report says that automation will replace 20 million jobs in the manufacturing sector globally over the next decade. The Oxford Economic Study confirms a trend already underway, but also shows that the cost of robots is falling, making them cheaper than human workers in more cases. The effects of automation, the report says, are being more keenly felt in parts of the world where incomes are lower. Now, the Oxford Economic Study found that 8.5% of the global manufacturing workforce will be affected by 2030. Each new robot being introduced into manufacturing is replacing, on average, 1.6 jobs. And already, 1.7 million people have been affected by this. That number set to rise sharply. Moving on, China has banned all meat imports from Canada after finding a banned additive in a batch of pork. It follows an investigation that uncovered over 180 counterfeit veterinary health documents attached to meat exports. Chinese customs officials also found traces of the feed additive, which is permitted in Canada but banned in China. This ban comes as diplomatic tensions between the two countries continue to simmer over the arrest of the CFO of tech company Huawei. Let's check in on the stock markets for you next. European shares opening the day in the red. Oil and gas companies seeing some gains, though. That's as oil prices uh, have risen. You can see London, Paris and Frankfurt all nudging into the red at the start of trading the, today. On the Asian markets, we had a mixed picture a little bit earlier. Investors digesting comments from the Fed chairman, Jerome Powell, uh, hinting that the central bank was pushing back against President Trump's calls for more rate cuts. Uh, Mr Powell saying that they were insulated from short-term political pressures. You can see the Nikkei in Tokyo finishing the day down half a percent, but uh, Hong Kong and the Kospi in Seoul both finishing the day pretty flat. Apple has bought the struggling self-driving car startup Drive.ai. The company was once valued at $200 million, but had recently announced that it was laying off staff and ceasing operations. Now, we don't know how much Apple paid for the company, but it's taken on dozens of its engineers, showing the firm is still interested in autonomous driving technology. And finally for me, Nike has pulled a line of shoes from sale in China after their designer posted on social media in support of protests in Hong Kong. The shoes were a limited edition range made by the Japanese design studio Undercover. The Instagram post in question showed the protesters in Hong Kong with the slogan No Extradition to China, but was deleted after a backlash from Chinese users. The Financial Times reporting that a number of Chinese retailers have been told by Nike that the launch of the new shoe line on June 14th had been cancelled. 
again, showing the challenges that many Western businesses face when operating in China. Eve. Stephen, thanks a lot for that. Stephen Carroll there with our business update.